Good morning, or afternoon, or however you look at it. This is a Kinko JFS with another video. So I got the day off today. I figured uh, I have a little bit of extra sleep. That's always nice. Anyway, um, let's see. Recent news stories. CNN breaking news. Worldwide news. Okay. Okay, this is fired Paragorian bus drivers crucify themselves in protest. Okay, this line on top of wooden crosses arranged flat on the ground. Passes by who approach him to get a closer look cringe when they see their hands and the protesters have driven nails into the flesh of their palms between the middle and index fingers. Fingernails that then go straight into planks of wood. The protesters are eight bus drivers who were fired from their jobs two months ago. The protest in mid-July outside the office of the Vanguardia Bus Company, their former employer, but the after concluding they weren't getting anywhere by doing that, they crucified themselves more than two weeks ago across the street from Vanguardia's headquarters in the Paragorian city of La Croix, La Croix, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, located 12 kilometers, about seven and a half miles northeast of Oskion. Os um, the Paraguayan capital. So, bus company with 150 employees that has been offering service to La Quet in the capital for 45 years. There are currently a total of 50 bus drivers on strike. Wow. Okay, so. Yeah, I get a taste of another culture here. Um, hmm. My two cents on that. Um, wow. Um, you know, if they want to, I don't know how crucifying themselves is going to protest. You know, them getting fired. Like, well, I want to die for your sins. Even though you fired me, I'll forgive you and die for your sins. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck ever, dude. Um... But to each is her own. Uh, let's see. Um, ooh, deep thinker. I like this one. Let's see what we got here. Um, speaking of religion, <laughs> um, there's another one here that says. Do all religions worship the same God? Um, no. Um, however, if it is a religion in question, it, um, the only religion that does not have a God complex that says thou shalt worship a God and get to heaven or not uh, would be Luciferianism um, that I know of at this particular moment in time. Um, as far as, um, this page doesn't want to load. Um, so fuck it, I want to do the article then. Uh, but the question says, do major religions all worship the same God? 
theologians have hammered that question for as long as there have been enough religions for it to make a sense. Hmm. Oh, if you okay, I need a cigarette. Morning cigarette, morning cigarette. I had five left, and I got like four. Okay, then there were three. Alrighty. Hmm. Looks is the only pack of cigarettes I've had to my name in quite some time, so at this particular moment I'm not complaining. The fire up red here on. Alright, I'll speak my two cents, I guess. Um, I don't like getting into religion too much because of the controversy it causes on YouTube in particular. I've seen people just flat lose it on a comment section when someone comments against the religion. They start calling them faggots and shit like that. I just go, well, that's a bit immature. I mean, granted, someone disagrees with you on your religion, so by God, call them a nasty word for a homosexual or something like that. You know, that'll... that'll Make make them wrong by God. I don't make them, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck ever, dude? I love when Christians persecute Luciferians and Wiccans for not thinking like them when it's still a religion nonetheless. Granted, Wiccans, Luciferians, and Christians may see something completely different from Christianity and Catholics and all that. Completely different. Um, um, Wiccans practice magic, they practice. On major magic, that's pretty cool stuff. I got a shit ton of wands around my house. This particular one right here, bone handled wands, pretty badass. You've seen it on YouTube before, it's pretty sick. Um, uh, so, when, if you know, and I've heard this argument many times people saying, Josh, if you need Jesus in your life. I'm like, I politely do my best to say no thank you, but they proceed to get pushy after that. I could tell them to go suck his cock and then walk away, because that's all I can do, you know. And quite often, I don't want to result to using profane sexual suggestions to tell them to fuck off, but what do you gotta do? They won't listen the first time, you know. Like, are you naked? Um, no, I'm in my pajamas actually. I got these um, uh, these uh, camo pajama bottoms. They're quite comfortable. Okay, gotta clear that up right now so people don't like you know start asking questions and ew you know. Okay. I think when it comes to religion, especially um, a lot of people have different beliefs. So with that, you have something called controversy. And with that, you're going to have people who are going to agree with you and disagree with you. That's, that's just going to happen. It's just the way it is. But some Christians can't handle that. And I find it extremely amusing. <laughs> some, some of them are just very devout and very into their religion. Now, I don't have a problem with Christians or Catholics. I really don't. But then you get the ones who throw it in your face. Those people I can't stand. I saw this YouTube video of people were saying, we need to pray for Marilyn Manson and hope that God forgives. I'm like, are you fucking serious, dude? Oh my God. Ignorant, arrogant motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? God damn it, that shit's annoying. Thou hast spoken God's name in vain. You're going to help your sins. Sweet. Can't wait. <laughs> and that kind of surprises people. Like, what? But hell's a burning infernal one. To you it is, but maybe hell is only a state of mind. You ever think of that? You see, we believe in whatever religion we're conditioned to believe in, believe it or not. Some of us grow up in very um, strict Catholic households. Um, my real mom, for example, and so going to her house when my parents got split custody, it was really fun. I hate to sarcasm. Um, Going to church was never a pleasant experience then, but I go to church now with um, some family members of mine that are just do good Christians just trying to live their life, and it's not negative at all. So I have very mixed views on the whole subject. But as far as um, religion goes, uh, it is what it is. People are going to talk their shit. Let's see what else we got for articles here.
Wow. Okay, so here's another one. Let's see. T-shirt gun explodes, injuring Arkansas Razorbacks in turn. T-shirt guns are used throughout sporting events across the country as well as during, you know, concerts, but that's not mentioned here. Get free college football email updates. No thanks. Uh, across the country are typically harmless. However, sporting events across the country are typically harmless. However, that wasn't the case during the Arkansas versus Louisiana Lafayette make matchup on Saturday afternoon in Fate Billy or something like that. I should have pronounced that. I apologize if I, 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 I apologize if I mispronounced that. Let's see. An intern, an intern in the University of Arkansas athletics marketing department was injured when a T-shirt gun exploded, according to Matt Jones of the whole of Whole Hog Sports. It happened shortly after kickoff, and the sound of the exploding explosion could be heard throughout the stadium. The intern, who immediately fell to the ground after the explosion was taken from the stadium on a stretcher, the name of the victim was not released, and his condition isn't known at this time, per the report. Hmm. T-shirt guns are powered by high-pressure air tanks and are designed to blast the shirts throughout the stadium. Let's see, if I got um, my music off the ground and I got my t-shirts made, I wouldn't mind doing that for fans, you know, just make sure it doesn't explode in my face while I'm playing guitar, because that would kind of suck. <laughs> but, um... Okay, what else do we have? Hmm. Uh-oh, Tim Tebow is in the news. Okay, I just had to do it, sorry. Um, Tim Tebow to pursue lifelong dream after release by Patriots. Oh boy, like anyone cares. Oh, they care enough to post on CNN, by God. <laughs> Backup quarterback Tim Tebow was released by New, York, New England Patriots on Saturday after, falling, after failing to make the final roster for the new season. Tebow, who was signed to the Patriots in June, made hit the final 75 earlier in the week, but lost out in the final cut. NFL team had until 6 p.m. Eastern time Saturday to reduce their rosters to a maximum of 53 players before the season kicks off Thursday. The former Hellsman Trophy winner has been praised and panned for being outspoken about Christian faith, including taking prayerful position on games, Barf. That makes me sick, dude. I like, you know what, dude? Okay, you know what? To each of their own, but really, um, this is one of those things like Saturday Night Live, to quote them, maybe he should have been reading the playbook instead of the Bible. He actually would have won a couple of games. Just saying. That's probably why they, they kicked him off the team, because they're like, eh, we don't care how famous he is and how well-known he is, because his brother used to be the oldest football player in existence, but we really don't care. Sorry, you know, we're not going to have that this year. We want to win a couple of games, not, you know, have everyone, you know, awing and booing and whatever they do when they see him pray. I mean, it's just one of those things that makes me, you know. Like, this is football, damn it. I don't even follow the fucking sport to begin with, so whatever. That has led to an internet internet photo craze known as T-Boeing. You know, it's one of those things like Faith Hilling. I think South Park, you're the episode on that. <laughs> Quite hilarious. Motherfucker. It's okay. Oh, it went out. No, okay, it didn't go out, but it didn't burn all. Okay, we're good. Alright, cool. <laughs> um, here's he Heisman Trophy 101. Critics have said the 26-year-old doesn't throw well enough to be an NFL quarterback. Oh, maybe, maybe if he prayed really hard, like, Jesus, I, I've been a really good Christian, you know, spreading your faith through games, getting people to like me on Instagram with my photos, and maybe if I pray really hard, he'll give me the strength to throw awesome this year. Nope, it doesn't, gonna work. It doesn't look like that. Sorry, it just doesn't look like that. Um, in... Three NFL seasons, Tebow, Tebow, who was in, 
waived by the New York Jets in April, has played 35 games and completed 48% of all his passes. The 26-year-old previously played for the Denver Broncos, who drafted Tebow in the first round in 2010. In a series of statements on Twitter, Tebow quoted a Bible verse and thanked the Patriots president and coaches for giving him the opportunity to be a part of such a classy organization. At least he was polite about it. He says he prays for nothing but the best for, for everyone and he will return. He will remain a relentless pursuit of continuing his lifelong dream of being in the NFL. Being an NFL quarterback, he wrote. In addition to Tebow, the Patriots Saturday and said Saturday that they released 12 other players placed veteran safe, safety um, Adrian Wilson on injured reserve re, 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 I'm not the world's best reader but I get by <laughs> um, Uh, if you are a Christian or Catholic, like I said, you know, more power to you. I don't uh, follow your religious beliefs, and I don't care if you do. Just don't force it upon me, is all I'm asking. You know, I think that's what a lot of us are asking. Um, and it's convenient, though, because, you know, they use the 12 step program to help addicts recover from addictive substances, you know. And because of that, they replace their addiction with Christianity, you know. Like, can you ask God to forgive you for your addiction? Stupid shit like that. And because of that, they take away the addiction of whatever they have and replace it with Christianity. So now instead of their life being all about heroin, they're well, it's all about Jesus now. So, yeah. Um, and which is convenient because when they're detoxing, I'm willing to bet their mind's not what it usually is. So they're likely to believe anything. <laughs> Be the same if Tom Cruise literally started, you know, a 12-step program for addicts and said, have you accepted Scientology as your religious faith? <laughs> Be funny as fuck. First of all, you must jump, up, jump on the couch and tell us how much you love Kate, and then you get off the couch and praise Scientology for the spaceships. Pew, 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 pew. He pulls out a phaser, starts blasting away trekkies or some shit. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh-oh. this Florida to exhume bodies buried at former boys school oh geez editors note rich Phillips is a senior producer with CNN who first started reporting on children buried at Dozer reform school in 2008 oh um Let's see if it's on YouTube. That'll probably make it easier. So I'm going to go to YouTube and just see if the story's on there. I know Dirt was part of reforming their attitude. Oh, tasteless. Okay. Um. Okay. Associated Press. When looking at a digital screen, you blink 60% less, which can dry out your eyes. But 9 out of 10 Acuvue Oasis brand contact lens wearers say their eyes feel comfortable while in front of a computer. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Ask your doctor for Acuvue Oasis brands and see what could be. I've been screaming out of the hole. Help. Just throw me a rope. Somebody help. Today. I caught that rope. Today. 
somebody who looks up out of that hole, and I thank God. When I was there in 1958, there was somebody came up missing. They told me, say, so he got away. Somebody called me 54 years later and said, Brother Richard, he didn't get away. We got a statement where he went into Marijuana, but he never did leave. We have to look at our history. We have to go back, and we know there are unmarked graves currently on that property that deserve a proper burial. It's the right thing to do. And in a state as old as Florida is, we're going to have chapters in our history that we're more proud of than others, but there is no shame in searching for the truth. Thank you. I'm happy with my heart. I'm really happy in my heart. They say when a grown man cries, there's something here to touch him. Today, I was Wow. Um, yikes. That's uh. Yeah, it's uh, wow. Oof. Um, let's see what the article says. Um, Florida to examine bodies buried at former boys' school. Marina, Florida, CNN. This weekend, Florida will begin digging into its tragic past as anthropologists start unearthing what they believe. Are the remains of dozen of dozens of children buried on the grounds of a former reform school. The exemptions at the Dozer School for Boys, which closed in 2011, are the accumulations of years of controversy surrounding the reform school and a mythology that has taken on a life of its own. Rightly or wrongly, the Florida panhandle town of Mar Marina, just west of Tallas Tallahassee, has become synonymous with the school and its dark past. Some of those who were once sent to those are now senior citizens have come forward with stories of abuse at the school, including alleged beatings, torture, sexual abuse, killings, and the disappearance of students during the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Holy shit. Um, reform schools um, are basically your school for juvenile delinquents and whatever crime they've committed was supposed to teach them to better themselves, but I think um, beatings, torture, and sexual abuse, and killings a bit uh, extreme for getting people to behave themselves. Yikes. On the school grounds, buried deep in the woods, lies a small, unkempt patch of land with 31 white crosses rusting away with time. They mark the final resting place for the unknown students that the state has confirmed were buried there. Nearly 100 children died while at the school, according to state and school records, many as a result of tragic dormitory fire in 1914 and a deadly flu epidemic in 1918. The poorly kept state records cannot account for what happened to 22 children who died at the school and no one knows who was buried there. They were poor kids and a lot of times people never came to visit them, said Elmore Burnett, a lifelong Marina resident and head of the NAACP in Jackson County, Florida, which includes Marina. Even when they were dismissed, they got home, their family had moved on. Even when they were dismissed, they got home, their family had moved. So who was going to pay attention if something happened to them while they were while they was at Dozer? Some believe the bodies are African Americans disposed of by the Ku Klux Klan. This gravesite is what was traditionally known as the Black Side of the Reform School a reference to the era of segregation. Many believe another cemetery exists on the sprawling wooded 1,400-acre property, but it has not been found. Last year, a research team from the University of South Florida on a humanitarian mission to help identify these bodies for surviving families used ground 
penetrating radar and found that there are as many 19 more bodies buried in the surrounding area completely unmarked. After cleaning the area, the team determined that the total of 49 graves exist. These children, these are these are children who came here and died for one reason or another and have just been lost in the woods. Senator said said Aaron Kimmery, a forensic anthropologist leading the USF team who once worked on an international forensics team that um, may, that amassed evidence used in Yokoslevin war crimes trials. She has lobbied, lobbed, lob, lobbied for an exhumation of the remains because, as she put it, when there is no knowledge and no information, then people who speculate and rumors will persist or questions remain. Let's see. White House Boys. Robert Staley spent about 10 months at the Dozer School for Boys between 1963 and 1964 for allegedly stealing a, a car. He says he was taken to the White House on his very first day. He says he came out of there in shock and when he when they hit you, you went down a foot into the bed and so hard he couldn't believe, said Starley. He didn't know what they were hitting you with. Years ago, Staley and several others who spent time at Dozer came forward with allegations that they were beaten with long leather slaps inside a small white concrete building they forever called the White House. The men became known as the White House Boys. One former administrator, Troy Tidwell, a one armed man accused of abuse by several former students admitted that spanking took place but denied that anyone was ever beaten or murdered. Florida first started looking into the allegations in 2008 after some of the White House boys who had met on the internet and shared the similar stories called on then Governor Charlie Crist to investigate. At Crist's request, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement launched an investigation and its final report in 2009, according to 31 boys buried in the cemetery. The investigation failed to clear up the mystery over what happened to the dozers, to the, to the dozens of other students who died at the school, whose bodies have never have never been ac accounted for. FDLE closed the case due to lack of evidence that anyone had died as a result of criminal conduct. The Florida Department of Juvenile Justice closed the school in 2011, 111 years after the, it first opened. Then last year, forensics anth anthropologists from the USF used their ground penetrating radar to find what appeared to be 19 more remains that previously thought to have been buried on the school grounds. The discovery, along with pressure from the NAACP, the high-level officials, including Senator Bill Nielsen, D. Florida, led to action by the state earlier this month. Florida Governor Rick Scott and his cabinet voted to allow the USF forensics team to exhume the bodies against the objectives of Jackson County commissioners. There were children that disappeared that, that, rarely, that, re that really were not accounted for, so he thinks that a new day has come here, said Wensley Walters, Security of Florida, Department of Juvenile Justice. He or she. Okay. What has what we have now is an opportunity to really get down to the truth and also to try to bring some healing to the victims and the families. Hmm. This is Owen's story. State records say one boy buried. There is 14-year-old Owen Smith. He had no ambition to do anything but play music. Oh shit. And his sister, Oval Smith Carroll, 84, she, she says her older brother ran away from home in 1940 at age 14 to become a musician in Nashville, but never made it. Owen Smith was arrested in a stolen car and sent to the reform school in Marina. 
He ran away from the school but got caught. He wrote a letter to 12 year old overall a short time afterward. A few months later, his family received a letter from the school notifying them that Owen had run away from for a second time. So far, we have been unable to get any information occurring his whereabouts, wrote Millard Davidson, the school superintendent at the time. We will appreciate your notifying us immediately if you receive any word from our from our concerning him. Owen's family decided to travel to Marina to find out what was going on, but just before leaving there was a call from the school with word that Owen had been found dead. They think he crawled under a house to try and get warm and then and that he got pneumonia and died, said Carell. She said her mother asked that Owen's body be taken to a funeral home. The family had to borrow a car for a trip when and when they arrived to arrived in Marina two days later, school officials allegedly told them that their son was already buried. They said that the body was so decomposed you couldn't be able you wouldn't be able to identify him. They took him straight out of the school and buried him, she said. Owen's classmates told the family a different story. According to Carell, the boy said as he and Owen tried to escape, my brother was running out across the field, an open field, and there were three men shooting at him with rifles. Jesus Christ, dude. <sighs> I believe to this day that they shot my brother that night, and I think they probably killed him and brought him back to the school and buried him, she said. Closure but criminal charges unlikely. Over Ovel Smith, Carell, like other relatives of these believed to be buried at the school, is hoping the exemptions result in sense of closure for the, her family. Yeah, no shit. Any remains that are exhumed will be taken to the University of South Florida and Tampa to be examined in an effort to re reunite these lost boys to their families, with, if possible. Earlier this summer, DNA swabs were taken from a handful of surviving family members that have been found. If DNA can be matched to the bodies exhumed, these families want them to be buried properly in family plots. I would take him and put him down with my mom and dad in their cemetery, Carell said. I hope to get that chance. Whatever may be found in the exemptions of these long-forgotten children is highly unlikely that anyone could ever be charged with any crimes. You have to have witnesses, said Glenn Hess, the state attorney of Jackson County, Florida. Nobody can place a name with a homicide victim and a, perp and a perpetrator. And that's nearly impossible considering the amount of time that has passed. There are these general stories about the beatings and all that went on, but that's not unusual for reformatories in the nineteen in the in the thirties and forties, he told CNN. But this doesn't matter to Eleanor Brandt, the a the NAC the NAACP leader. He lived there all his life. He thinks the truth behind the mystery of Miranda will finally be found. I don't think the bones will lie, the bones will tell the truth, he said. I want the truth to be known how I died. Yeah, no shit. That is... Wow. Back then, they'd get away with that because it's the 1940s, but you tried that shit now, yeah, it wouldn't fly, dude. It wouldn't fly. The minute even anyone heard that, they'd be like, Okay, school's gonna shut down now. People are gonna now. So, yeah, it is what it is. Holy crap. A musician of all, of all things, too. Okay, I want to apologize for the joke I kind of made earlier about the. Yeah, it was insensitive and I didn't realize, you know, it was. Holy shit. That's crazy stuff. Okay. Um. Let's see, what else we got? A black hole, uh oh, what's this? Why our galaxy's black hole is picky, is a picky eater? Hmm. You might think of black holes as indiscriminate eaters, hungrily gobbling up everything in their vi vicinity. 
but the black hole in the center of our Milky Way galaxy, Seg Atreus A, is not exactly like this. New research suggests that inside this black hole are likely other black holes and the centers of galaxies must spit out a lot of old order to swallow a little. Hm. This is Sto Stag Seg Petrius has about 4 million times the mass of the Sun. It is located 26,000 light years from Earth. That's still super far, as one light year is about 5.9 trillion miles. But it's close enough that human technology can help us see what's happening to the matter around it. That's kind of cool. That's what a black hole looks like. Cool shit. Let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, get a hold of this. Ah, sweet, we got a hold. Oh, excuse me. Huh. Do Christians, Muslims, and Jews worship the same God? Okay, we'll know it's facts for you. People say things like, um, the Jewish killed Jesus. Well, here's a little an interesting fact. Um, Jesus was the fact Jewish. It was the Christians that crucified him. Now, ironically enough, they spend the rest of eternity kissing his ass. Oh, we're sorry. Please forgive us for our sins. Here, we'll even adopt the cross as, as our symbol for our religion because we're just not ironic about it, even though we killed you on the cross. That's something I don't understand, but it's what it is. Okay. CNN Sonny and Shia. Muslim, Sunni and Shia, Shia Muslims are killing each other in several nations, most notably in Sharia's existing civil war. Religion is a common thread in each conflict, but why doesn't why don't these folks worship the same deity? After all, Jews, Christians, and Muslims all trace their faith back to a fellow named Abraham, who's whom they all claim was chosen for special treatment by the Almighty. Why can't they all get along? Because, simple matter of it is, religion is one of the biggest pissing matches you will ever come across. Period. Um, my God's better than your God. No, my God's better than your God. No, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, shit like that. They don't say it like that, but what it comes down to is, is that because of the kind of differential belief, They'll take it to the next extreme and start a war over it. And to me, that seems stupid. I mean, you're going to start a war over religious belief. No, to me, that doesn't make sense. But, oh well. Um... Wouldn't surprise me if we end up doing a ghost investigation that one reform school. I could see um ghost investigation doing that. My name is Zach. My hair is really spiky. And I'm here to piss off a couple of spirits. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that was a really bad impersonation, but yeah. I'm actually a fan of that show. No, I saw an episode where they were in this um I know it's completely off topic, but I saw an episode where they were and doing the investigation, and they crawled into this crawl space, and they actually got a couple of demonic voices. So that was kind of cool. Um, now, some people might look at it as you shouldn't piss off the spirits because it's disrespectful. At the same time, pissing off spirits is what gets evidence because, you know, it goes to the temper, and you piss it off, it scratches you. Catch it on camera is your evidence. But you're going to have your skeptics. Okay, so we pretty much spent about 40 minutes talking about the news, current news on CNN. Um, so I tried something new with one of my videos. Not sure how well it's going to do, I really don't care because someone will fucking watch it. <laughs> Plain and simple.
Well, anyway, this is uh, King Cobra JFS in the video. I'll save this cigarette for later. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.